Investigators are still putting together the pieces on the massive Thanksgiving Day pileup. KFDM reporter Justin Hinton spoke to one of the victims involved in the crash. They got me out of the truck. I don't even remember getting out of the truck. When I woke up, I was on the side of the road, you know, waiting on, you know, I guess somebody to help me. Terrence Williams may not remember everything that happened Thanksgiving morning, but 15 staples and 12 stitches serve as a constant reminder that he walked away from the massive pileup on I-10. Pretty scary when you wake up, you know, and you don't know really what, what's going on, you know, you're kind of in a daze. A co-worker drove Williams from Port Aransas after finishing a diving job. As Williams slept, the fog clouded his co-worker's vision. He said we were following the 18-wheeler, and then all of a sudden the 18-wheeler just come to a stop. And we, you know, hit him, and then the cars behind us hit us. Leaving a trail of damaged cars stretching out for miles. Williams called his wife from the hospital. I naturally freaked out and I told him, okay, I'm going to be there in a few minutes. And he said no, you know, just be calm and stay at home. And it's very hard to do when you know your husband has been in an accident. Williams came home later that day. Sandra took care of him. Couldn't let him sleep for more than an hour at a time. Those were the instructions that they sent home from the, the hospital. The two say they are a lot closer now as they head back to the hospital for another checkup. In Nederland, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Sandra said they will continue to pray for the other victims involved in the crash.